Hey guys, this is Special Jojo. Today I'll be showing the lightweight championship between Bruce and Henry Cejudo. I hope you guys gonna like it. Well, this is exciting here, at DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. The Olympic gold medalist, UFC flyweight champion, and again, you talk about work ethic. That conversation begins with the message of this. It absolutely does. As a young boy, Henry understood that he wanted gold bigger than any high school kid should chase. So he moved to the Olympic Training Center, and he trained with me as I was getting ready for the Olympic team prior as a little kid because he knew winning an NCAA title wasn't enough for him. Ultimately, he became Olympic champion, the youngest in U.S. history, and now he's a UFC champion. What a career by Henry Smith. the take now for this lightweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's who's your first fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC. Lightweight champion of the world, Henry Triple C. Zahuda. Herb Dean, third Good man fight. in the octagon Good. tonight. Good. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Push kick there to the bottom. Back to the overhand right, not there. And now some separation. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Lee's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Win the scramble, win the scramble. Big ground and pound. 
Nice shot there by the champ. Lee's in half court. All right, so the fighters have a reverse position on the ground, and now he's got the dominant position. Yeah, what a great job recognizing that once he got the reversal, he went right to his offense. He didn't wait, John. He did a good job of while his opponent goes, oh my goodness, I lost the position. He said, no, no, we're not done. I'm going to get to a dominant position myself. It got defended, but it will give Henry the idea that takedown may be coming. Under three minutes to go in round one. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily get it. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Oh, nice. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Well, you know about the wrestling chops, you know about the Olympic gold medal, but it's been Henry Cejudo's boxing that has been taken to the next level, and as such, he's established himself as one of the best fighters in the world. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, he lands a huge move to the body. Big right hand. Address something defensively, there is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he cut on. And now a left. Good right hand there. Front kick by the ever improved Henry Cejudo. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Cejudo gets the single leg takedown. Less than a minute to go in the round. Now it's his mouth. <laughs> Lee's in half guard now. Oh, good ground and pound here. Close guard. Cejudo's eye appears to be closing up by the set. Well, he's got his back now. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action, and if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here we go with round two. All right, so here we go with our next round. In the previous round, he rocked his opponent pretty good. We'll see if he can piggyback on that momentum here. Let's see if he can continue the onslaught, right? He had his opponent hurt real bad, but he cannot rush. He still has to understand that a live fighter is in front of him. Otherwise, he'll find himself on the wrong side of the knockout. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Cejudo gets the single leg takedown, well played. 
Couple hammer fists there for good measure. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure. And he has certainly kept up his end of the bar. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Kerry Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Circling to his right. Grips the body there. Drives the shin into the rim. Great body kick. Another big body kick. Oh, land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt. He cannot take another shot like that. No denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Under three minutes to go here in round two. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Judo chops on full display. Beautiful hip toss to take him down. Ronda Rousey did this for a long time, loading people up in those high amplitude throws. This young man is very well versed in this position, and he has a lot of tricks to get you to put yourself exactly where he needs you. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Lee. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let the elbow there. there. You might get the TKO here. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. and half guard. There it is. Now he's going to mount. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, man, another strike gets through. This could be over soon. You have to fight back. Cejudo's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Cejudo. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Under a minute to go round two. This man is landing brutal ground and pound. Cejudo's in half court. Oh, the ground and pound is there. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. No reversal there. Well, the cut man's getting excited, but nobody else is. That cut's getting worse by the minute. Every time he gets hit there, it gets a little bit messier. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. That Kimura looks tight. He's got a crank now, though, John. He's got him in position. Now he's got to go find the finish. Fight's gonna continue. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Lee gets back up. Oh, and the wow. sounds on round two. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory.
You ready? You ready? Do Here it. we go, third round of this championship fight. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Continues to evolve as a striker. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Lands to the body there. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence has grown. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. The Olympic gold medalist, Cejudo, gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm, maybe set up a Kimura here, DC. He's attacking the Kimura, watch for him to step over to try to get him up on his hip. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Working out of the half guard here. Now he's going full mount. He's fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, Johnny. He's got to shrimp and try to either... Back mount now. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Well, you don't blame him for continuing to badger that cut. Things are getting bloody, champ. Yeah, you got to be careful now, because as it bleeds, you got to worry about the blood going into the eye. Now it's time to start being on high alert. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Just out of range with that strike. We passed the midpoint here of the fight. Oh, and he lands in another takedown here, just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympians gotta like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. But uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. All right, so from being dominated to in the dominant position, nice reversal on the ground. All right, feet on the hips here. The Olympic gold medalist, Cejudo, going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. All right, seems as though his sole focus is... Look at him attack that arm triangle. On the opposite side, when it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chin. Oh, so he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Lee's in half goal. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Changing the position. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor. The swelling started to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt. He got him swollen a little bit, and now it's starting to pay dividends. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the ground. Oh, the head kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has a strike in the night. Final seconds of round three. 
Cejudo's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship right, round. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the Ready end of that round. Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five. Oh, beautiful job to split the guard. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on B Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Oh, nice takedown, yep. So Hudo's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Fighter trying to pass here. Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. The Olympic gold medalist, Cejudo, going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. Yeah, he's in half guard here. All right, side control now. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. He's postured, landing huge ground and pound. The guy has to move or the fight's gonna get finished. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Cejudo. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Cejudo, ground and pound from half court. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Lee's back into full guard. So he's sort of turtled up here, not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Lee. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, beautiful fight instinct there as he reverses position. And now he's got the dominant position. He did a fantastic job recognizing, man. I have got to get on the offense from bottom to top to dominant position. What a great job. Under three minutes to go in round four. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Push the knee and pass the half guard. And there you go. Again, half guard. Oh, right into Mount. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. How fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 53 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks.